Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Olmi and today we're here with Academia School Simulator. Um, a nice sort of top-down view game where you build a school and um, you know try and take care of the needs of your students and so forth. It's been in production a little while now. Um, not bad little game at first glance, but this is my first actual chance to sort of get my hands on it and do a little bit of review. It's still in early access. I believe it's been uh, there for a little bit of time. I believe this is 0.3.3.c. There we go. So that's kind of that's kind of where we are with it. Um, but like I say, it's still in our early access. It's still being developed. You can get it now for, I believe, $19.99 on Steam. Um, and it's a constant development. It's a constant development kind of game. So it looks and feels a lot like Prison Architect. And that had a very continuous early access update um, and upgrade quality of life kind of thing going on where you know you bought the game in early access and it did progress every month or so on it kind of did come out so this is kind of alpha 3 it's about a, a month since alpha 3 has been released like i say the uh the upgrades are coming um and have come i think it's a much better game than it was when it was first released so the look forward is positive so this does actually come from squeaky wheel studio independent game studio um like i say a bit like prison architect and that it's a, a similar look uh, a little bit like rimworld as well you build the structure you take care of your people and best you can you hit the objectives you make your money and so on so i did start up a little game uh, i didn't get far at all so they've got a little feedback, achievements, hotkeys. We've got a little language here where you can go into the mods and pick up, as you can see, different languages. You've got Romania, Russia, Espanol, so that'll be uh, Argentinian, Spanish, uh, French, Korean, Japanese, traditional Chinese, uh, Brazilian, Portuguese, Spanish, German, and simplified Chinese. So there's quite a lot there already. Oh, this is for my mod development. Okay, I haven't got anything going there. Browse maps. You can have a look at other people's maps and uh, download them, play in them. Say so a modding community is key for me in this kind of game. Um, but yeah, really kind of cool that there's already quite a lot in here. So, interesting. Then we can look at all the different mods here whiteboard mod uh the robes of the four hogwarts houses prison uniforms in there as well yeah i kind of like that kind of like that so there's not only just the maps but there are some stuff in here that um just add or reskin little bits and pieces stuff you don't need but yeah stuff that does mean it's uh it's kind of a cool thing where you can go and search something and maybe add to something or if there isn't in there create it yourself add it to the workshop and get your mod in the game there is a sandbox mode i believe i just actually jumped in to a um a regular game um i actually had to uh, close it out just after i started because the recording software wasn't firing we are good to go now though so we're going to take a look here, as I say, Academia School Simulator. There we go. So we're going to pause. It looks like we've got a delivery and garbage setup. We can click on our, our people here. Arrow keys to scroll. Okay, so we can sell some concrete tiles for the delivery area. That'll be interesting we've got some reports down here so we can't do research just yet we can look at our reports and there shouldn't be 
anything in here. You can see there are different kinds of students, different ways of dealing with them, different challenges you've got to face on a day-to-day -day business. Day, so like uh, illnesses, cleanliness, hygiene. You've got your sort of cafeteria and kitchen setup, as well as how many students are happy. And I guess if they're unhappy, they drop out and they don't actually um well they don't count towards your your income and you need that income of course to spend on facilities and to spend on teachers there we go we can set up by different classes and whatnot we've got zones that we can build different kinds of things going on that's pretty cool actually build any things placing objects we can bring in staff bring in a blueprint that's quite nice when there is a blueprint in there and then we can do routing and whatnot when we get um, different researchers done okay so we need to build a principal's office to unlock the research and then research will unlock the other things that makes a lot of sense admissions there we go so we can add in a bunch of students so yeah as you can see the older students actually have more in the way of uh, tuition that they actually pay at the start of the year and then a subsidy there they will give us money the government will to pay for those students so with only four students one of each year we will gain $750 up front and $480 per day. Um, I think if we looked here, can I drag windows around? Sadly not, I can't drag them around. Um, but yeah, a lot of these are sort of 400 a day. So $600 a day. Yeah, so maybe four or five a day we will need sort of kids to pay for the teachers. Don't know if there's anything else. So I'm not going to add those in just yet because we do have a tutorial on. We've got a prestige here. Those are the finances and resources we'll see. Our actual money. Uh, the motivation of students, I guess. There's our staff. There's our teachers. Okay, so this is the, the school day where the kids will go and whatnot to do list. There we go. So got a nice little to do list. Is everything kind of in there? Shows you what you might want to go for. And then there's actual grants that you get to set things up. Okay, but we are in tutorial. So let's start then. See, so admin office. We need an admin table, file cabinet, fax needs to be indoors. Okay, let's give give a nice little five by five there. Don't mind that. We'll put a brick wall around it. We're going to need a door. I'm actually going to put a door in there. Floors, I guess. Nice little simple wooden floor as well. So, admin file fax. Okay, so the admin table. I uh, didn't quite want to place that there. How do I get rid of that? How do I cancel? The demolish.
Okay. That might have... So let's add back in. I wouldn't throw objects. Admin table. There we go. We can click to set that up. So I'm going to have the admin table there. We also needed foil cabinet and a fax. Okay, so objects. file cabinet I think I just right click and I think removes the floors um, so I accidentally click there okay so file cabinet and then the fax so we've got a file cabinet we've got the fax we've got the admin table it's indoors it's a five by five room we've got ourselves a door there okay let's see let's see these guys go to work them putting things in I mean we don't have a window is that a thing we can actually have it's a bunch of walls it doesn't look like we can have a window okay so that's okay then I don't mind that I don't mind that if I can't have it that's fine and then we can hire ourselves a staff member. So we can throw in our principal as soon as this gets set up. That should be in a pretty decent position. So admin table when that finishes getting built. Kind of like the music in the background as well quite nice quite nice in the background there we go there we go and boom just like that okay so much absolutely just research unlocked so basic facilities male toilet female toilet gender neutral kitchen cafeteria then we've got the accountants sort of stuff here with the money manager. School cleaning, okay. Uh, the school design, so don't really need that. Uh, the find more button in human teaching and worker priority. So we can schedule our workers. That's to improve our staff, improve how the building looks, keep it clean, accountants and basic facilities. So. I think we're going to start with that. Can I can I add an extra one in? No. Okay, so you can't queue them. You've got to go and do them one by one. It would be nice to set those up, but that's okay. So I guess we get different zones based on what we've come over. Okay, to-do list, admissions, make sure you have the incoming students before the start of the left year, one incoming student in the freshman year at least, let's throw that money in, so I know that we're going to need, like I said, to hire one teacher to pay their wages and to pay the wages, I guess for that principle is going to be pretty decent i don't like how we can't nest windows as well um so i guess we're just looking for someone who's pretty good at everything someone here maybe not great at science and math but pretty good at everything um, language is an issue there so yeah do I have to have one for each 
But I have to have one for each, and that's gonna be quite hefty. So that would be six teachers, maybe. Maybe less. Maybe we get away with less. So that one be good for all but PE, so. Four grand, 444 a day. Put them in the teacher pool. Um, yeah, so I guess I need one for each department. Okay. Okay. So, 51 for art. So you can go into art. Now, what do we got? Language. I guess. Language for you. What's your best? You're a science history. Do we have anyone good at science or history? Really, we do, don't we? Okay, you can go into science. We'll pull this guy down for history. And then we're looking at well, math and PE, and we're not looking to be too crazy about it. So, math teacher, fairly cheap there, and then PE. 34, 45 there, but it's expensive. Okay, so flight. We've got Megan. Guess we can't get either of those right now. So we're okay. We don't have. We don't have ourselves anyone in there. For PE. Um, okay, so what do we have? We have 1800 a day, and I think we'll have six times four, so that'll be 24, so maybe 25, 26 a day. We're down. We're gonna lose money if we just do that, so. At that stage, I think we need to take on sophomores as well to pay for our costs. So we're going to need to have two different levels here. So classroom, each seat for one student. I need 15 freshmen and sophomores. Okay. So let's... Uh, zone ourselves at classroom so the freshman I guess says eight by five Seven by eight, I think. Seven by eight. So I've got an idea how I want those to look, and then we'll have the sophomore classrooms in there. And again, I think just really basic, gonna go for this brick wall look to it. Gonna separate out the classrooms. Let's throw pair of doors in the middle there um, and then again floors I think we're just gonna go for a nice basic woods let's put all that in lovely stuff so 
I then need objects. So we need a chalkboard, a teacher's table, and student chairs. We're going to need a bunch of student chairs. So classroom, chalkboard. Let's get those set up there. Teacher's tables. Get those set up. And there you go. So One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten would be enough, but to accommodate all my students, we have three rows of five. I think that's a basic setup that I can get behind. I think that's a basic setup we can get behind there, guys. Pretty happy with that. So we got the chalkboard, the student chairs, the teacher's table in there as well. And then we do here I have a main entrance. Yeah, main entrance there. Then let's say we continue this little uh motif you've got going on let's yeah okay we can't do too much let's get those guys to working like I said we'll have this little, uh, classroom here School health, scientific method. Okay, so maybe we spent a bit too much money there on the teachers. Um, we're not going to have enough money to build anything else. Luckily, we can get this money back at least. Um, I mean, I guess we can just get all those guys in as well. And then we're just building the same again, I guess. Let me, let me throw the juniors in. So seven by eight. And then seven by eight for the seniors. Um, why don't I do it from here? Seven by eight for you, and then seven by eight for you. Not leave us a little corridor down here. We can actually build the entrance in between the classrooms here so I can kind of have a staff entrance in this side I can have one over here where more the students will be um, try and set it up that way maybe that could be an idea for us so the walls are gonna absolutely bankrupt us Okay, so we did <laughs> we did get a bailout. That means we can now do some more stuff, it seems. Okay, admin no. Uh chalkboard. So again, similar idea. Chalkboard, chalkboard. Teacher, teacher. And then
Yeah, no, that didn't look right to me for some reason. Um, it looked like the desks were pointing to the side, but it, I realize now that they're not. The arrow is in the right place, so. And then, uh, again, uh, we need floors. Basic. Wooden floors. Basic doors in the middle. Let's put a floor on the entrance as well. And then connect all those up. So at least we've got that going on there. Okay, now we've got a little bit of money to come in. I want to get a few more workers. Or one more worker, I guess, just to get that all up and running. Yeah, we should get our money for this. I'd say we'd be in a good position there. So, already it kind of makes sense. I'd say we got our principal doing bits. Let me move away from that onto research. I'd like to do something else. We don't quite have the money yet, but as soon as we do, we'll get the school cleaning up and running. Um, yeah, and then we'll just start moving around and unlocking more bits, I guess. But I think school cleaning will be the next thing. I think that would be the next thing for me so uh building floors it looks like right now with these guys just uh getting on with their work pretty decent stuff the structure comes first then the interior i guess is how they are set up to work so we're still in day one we're still early morning we've got two classes almost built they need to be filled we've got two more to be built they haven't been started on yet We've got the walkway in between them, but we do have the principal's office up and running. He has researched a few things for us, but that will allow us now, like I say, to teach freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors. And I like the way that we've uh, differentiated between them, and we've got ourselves in a really good place for that. So, freshmen have a place. So, hiring staff, a little bit too uh, too much. Five in one school, five zones, nice. Gets us the principal's office, delivery, the garbage, and that. So, are these my teachers, they are indeed. Okay, so schedule. Excellent. So it looks like we're all set up okay. We do need that PE teacher. And we do need a place for the uh, for the teachers to be as well. So it looks like a few of them are going to try and find their way into classrooms. Yeah, until I started the school year, I shouldn't have hired teachers. I get that now. Um, I tried to jump ahead a little bit in there. We're going to pay a little bit for that. But, hey, we're close now to finishing up the rooms here. That's pretty good. I could fire teachers, but then we'd have to pay the cost to take them back on again. So it depends if it's going to take me, say, 10 days to get up and running. If it takes me 10 days, then I'll be paying more in wages than the cost to hire the teachers. Uh, so it might be best in that case then to actually fire and rehire. 
But so far, it seems really kind of cool. Really fun. And everything seems to be set up quite well, so... Teachers grant. Okay, so we can start the school year. So that's the main thing. So we can get that sorted. Hire teachers. So 15,000 advanced. We can gain that. So that's definitely something we need to do. Right, department, PE. Who we got in PE? Is it the same guys? I think it is. So. You can come in. There's more grants to come in there, I guess. The accountant plays vending machines. I mean, object vending machines. I'm guessing they don't need to be actually they don't need to be in a cafeteria so I'm actually just gonna do that and then we'll double up on the floors here give them a better place to be I'm happy enough with that I'm pretty happy so as soon as these are built I think we can start the school year we've got a decent amount of money in the bank we're doing okay we've got enough rooms for our students we've got enough teachers to teach those students we've got the principal's office we need to build up the rest of the school a little bit but not a bad start for you know 30 minutes blind playthrough um, not making too many mistakes along the way Let's just get let's get a few more of those going. There we go. The classrooms are all built. They're now going to set about building everything else. Hopefully, including the uh, vending machines for us. But like I say, at that point, everything looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with the start we've had. So yeah, I think uh, we'll run another video or two on this to show the starting of the school year. Um, like I say, I think we're doing quite well to begin with and I like what I've seen so far. So we'll see how it continues after a while. Uh, get the students in in the next video, but hey. So far, so good. This, as I say, is Academia School Simulator. I've been Chris Ormi. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll get the school year done very, very soon. It's on Steam right now in early access. 19.99, And it's from uh, Squeaky Wheel. So, good independent uh, game studio who seem to have something on their hands here. Currently in development, we'll see how far it goes. But so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. I hope you have as well. Till next time, though, y'all take it easy and come back soon.